Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to build a simple chatbot without using any natural language processing library. So a chatbot is a kind of virtual being with whom we can converse with. And to prepare this chatbot, we will use some inbuilt uh, Python library like uh, remodule, uh, random module, web browser that comes preloaded within the Python idle along with some external libraries like uh, the Wikipedia which we will use to search uh, some content using Wikipedia. So before starting to code, let's see how we can approach towards the making of this chatbot. We will use uh, only these modules as of now to build this chatbot. And uh, in fact, uh, in our day to day life, we come across various websites that uses this chatbot. Uh, and those chatbots start uh, with uh, welcoming us and then uh, assist us uh, with our requirements. So we will do that also here also. And uh, let's see uh, how we will progress. So as you can see, uh, we will first uh, import the necessary modules. After that, we will define one dictionary with a set of questions and answers. After that, we will define one single argument function uh, in which the argument will be passed via the main function uh, and that argument will be an uh, input in the main itself. Then we will call the above function via the main and it will start responding. We will uh, define the function for the response and within the main function, we will start one infinite loop to take input continuously and uh, subsequently we will take uh, one input uh, or we, will, we can say that uh, it will act as a keyword uh, which will cause the uh, which will cause or break this infinite loop and uh, and close the chatbot so let's uh, start to code so first uh, i will import the necessary module like import p input random as rmd import web browser all these modules comes inbuilt within the python idle and the external library that uh, we are going to use is uh, Wikipedia. So input Wikipedia as wiki. Okay. So we have imported our uh, all the modules, the required modules. Okay. And uh, after that, uh, let's see first that our module is fine. Yeah. This perfectly imported. Now, what we will do is we will define one library like this, which will have a set of questions and answers like uh, who are you? And uh, we know that in a dictionary, the fields are defined as the key value pair. So, like uh, who are you is my key. And, uh, <coughs> this list is the value of that key and uh, you might be thinking that why we are using this uh, dictionary right so the reason behind this is uh, if we go on a large scale uh, if we uh, like if we define one dictionary uh, define one set or list or tuple it might happen that the time taken to retrieve uh, the answer out of it will take a long time but in case of dictionary, we know that it is the fastest one. Uh, uh, then the list tuples and sets. Since uh, it uses a key value pair. Because of this, it's what makes the dictionary a, a fast uh, data structure. Or I would not say data structure. Rather, it is a compound data type. Which helps us to retrieve the data much faster. Okay. So we have defined this uh, dictionary called the rest and uh, in this 
rest dictionary we have defined the questions as key and its subsequent answers as the value okay so two parts are done next we will see uh, we will define one single argument function so let us uh, define this uh, function as uh, response so def response and i will pass one argument a x and now i will search that the argument that is passed into this function is uh, available in the above dictionary or not so uh, if x and it is and so it will be now we will use the module random so rnd dot choice this is the one of the function inside the random module so rnd dot choice it will randomly choose uh, one of the answers within this dictionary so rnd dot choice uh, ref dot get x i hope you are familiar with the dictionary of python and subsequently will print we will print the answer print answer okay and if the above is not found what we will do is we will print or rather the adverter will uh, will print that uh, i didn't get you or like i didn't i didn't get you okay so we have defined a simple function here where we will pass one argument to the function and if say x so if x is present in this above dictionary it will choose uh, one value out of this uh, set of values randomly and will print the answer which will uh, make our chatbot more uh, interactive so we have defined this uh, single argument function next what we will do is we will uh, define main okay so we will define main so if main you can define in this way also or you can also define as if main equal to say main main you can write in this way also but uh, i generally prefer to write uh, in this way or only because it uh, reduces the code so we have defined our main and before that uh, let's see uh, our code as of now is working fine or not so i yeah it is working very much fine so now we can move towards our main function so this uh, is main so we will first print one welcoming message so print we will so welcome buddy our chatbot will uh, first print this one only so that we will take uh, input Okay, uh, print the name actually, and it will be a string input. So I have defined an input, and within this, we will write what should I call you, or what is the name. I am making it more interactive. So what should I 
कॉल यू एंड आफ्टर दैट यू विल अगेन सेंड इन मेल अलोंग विद हेलो हाउ कैन आई एसिस्ट यू राइट hello and i hope you are also familiar with the uh, string manipulation uh, in python look how can i assist you can i assist you okay and but we will use the format function here of the string And we will pass the input and then which is a string input and which is will provide the name of the user. Okay, so comment then. Yeah, okay, it is done. And now we will start one infinite loop. We will start one infinite loop while true. While true, we will again now from this part we will start taking input continuously. So suppose um, set equal input and it will be designated by a u. Where you will give the input. Input U. Now, what we can do here is, uh, since uh, we have defined our dictionary, uh, all are in uh, lower case. So, what we will do is, we will convert all the input to the lower case itself. So, uh, Z equal to Z dot lower. This is a part of string manipulation in Python. Now we will define some uh, if else uh, ladder. So now suppose uh, we will start with if. So if uh, Z equal to equal Exit, or we know that uh, in Python uh, we write or as uh, a spelling or, whereas in other languages like in C, C plus uh, plus, we give two byte signs to represent uh, bitwise or. So or uh, said equal to equal by. What it will do is uh, it will print by sorry by you can and will uh, you can write or rather it will break from this uh, loop. Okay, now. If now we will uh, again define another ls with a condition. Now here we will use the re module. If we have imported re module here, it is, the, it is also called as the react module. And you can use it to search uh, a particular keyword in a text or any kind of format. Like if you want to extract some uh, date format or uh, a particular string out of a text, uh, you can do that. Along with suppose if you have an alphanumeric uh, string, you can also uh, extract that any kind of alphanumeric string. So here uh, we will search three dot search. So if we can see uh, inside this search function, we have to provide the pattern, and we will search this pattern. In this string, and we'll uh, take out that uh, string that in which this pattern is present. 
three dot search, and remember you have to provide R this uh, because this is a raw format. So you have to provide R before starting uh, in uh, before uh, writing any pattern. So R and uh, open. What this will do is it will open our web browser. And whatever the website name you will provide it, it will open it in the web browser. So we will write open and comma z. So if this is there, what we will do is we will print opening. Um, Again, we will write here the website name. Open dot format, and here we will split the text into two parts. Where the open will be uh, split, uh, open will be splitted, and uh, the website domain will be splitted. So dot format. Here I will split the text. That is uh, there from the input. So that dot split. That dot split. And inside the split, so it will be splitted by open, open, see, and here we don't need the All the required text. We only require the text after open. So that dot split open. Okay. And what we will do is we will we have imported our web browser. Uh, let's import it as web. So after that, uh, we will write as we have imported the web browser as uh, web. So we will write uh, web dot open. Web dot open. So we will use the function called the open new tab. As every time uh, when you will search, it will open a new tab and not uh, the same tab. So that you can maintain uh, all the information at one place, single place, within a single window in the web browser. So web dot open a uh, new tab, and uh, there what I will do is I will uh, declare uh, use uh, another pair of uh, tuple, and in that I will define www dot which will add up. With the text after open, so double dot plus. Uh, we know that we can concatenate two strings using plus or simply by uh, having uh, separated by comma. But in this case, we will use plus sign to concatenate two strings. So then then dot split. Has to be a root here to show the user like uh, opening this uh, website or opening like Google, opening Google, opening Yahoo dot in like this. So open and we'll take the first index that is we'll take the text after open. Okay. Now it is done. I uh, will define one another ls where it will search some content from the Wikipedia. So again, we will use the re module. So re dot search raw text followed by search And the input variable 
Wikipedia. Searching Wikipedia and we will use the modern Wikipedia here. So, uh, and or uh, before that we can let it also after the search pose O equals to Z dot let search and the one you might be thinking that why we are using this uh, one within the square bracket the reason behind this is we need to get that uh, string after the search so when um, this search will occur in in a text so the next string after the search will be taken into account this is the reason why we are taking uh, we are writing one after followed by square bracket so o equal to z dot split search one and that we will print uh, wiki dot summary we will only print the summary which is a function which is present in the wikipedia module wiki o ok and finally if uh, none of keywords matches then in that case we will call our function that we defined here response and that's from z ok so now we have completed our code so let's check and if there is any uh, error or not ok now welcome buddy what should i call you uh, so my name is Yush hello Yush how can i assist you ok uh, so who are you first i don't know who she is so, who are you? Okay, the name is Veronica. Nice name. So, how can you help me? How can you help me? Okay, so she says I can help in many ways like uh, opening a website, searching stuff in Wikipedia and Google, uh, today's date and current time and many more. Okay, that's fine. So, let's check it. So I will write uh, open google.com ok so google was open ok so now let's search something about how was python programming language in wikipedia so search python programming language Okay, so it is searching Wikipedia. Okay, so here we have got it. So Python is an interpreted high level language, general purpose programming language created by uh, Guido van Rosen and first released in 1991. So this is how our chatbot has uh, responded and uh, provided the summer took out the summary from the Wikipedia and uh, gave us the result. Now let's see uh, how old are you? I don't know her age. So how old are you? I don't know accurately. Okay, uh, that's cool actually. Of course it is, isn't it? That's very, very funny. Okay, so let's see uh, what all we have defined. Okay, so who created you? Let's see what it uh, says. Or who created you? So 
like share and subscribe and for more awesome content press the bell icon